So, uh, we're here at the soccer ring, taking a race with uh, Bradl, and it's a good occasion to showcase the, some features of MotoGP 13, and so, we're here sitting in uh, Stefan's uh, seat, and we're ready for the race. But before, we can have the technical meeting to tweak the bike, so it's, it's probably the best way to uh, tweak the bike so I can uh, do the uh, last moment change saying, well, I think I have some cornering issues, a precision problem, and so I can get a better setup. S because uh, we know not everybody knows how to tweak the bike directly, but it's, it's a very nice way to talk with your engineer, you, with your real engineer, and to have some hits about the uh, bike setup. So, we are ready for the race, and let's go. MotoGP 13 highlights one very important thing that is being immersive. So, in many situations, you'll be wearing your helmet, washing through the eyes of the rider. And you can also do it uh, during the race because there is a dedicated helmet view uh, that is very, very realistic but playable nonetheless because we wanted to have it something you could really play with and not only for uh, graphics and everything. So. This is what I was talking about. I can take a look around. Okay, ready to go. There is a number of helps I can tweak during the race anytime. There is a colored uh, line that tells me where I should go and where I should break, and I can turn it on and off and customize it during the race. And also the physics helps can be tweaked because maybe I want to trigger some uh, joint brake help or uh, aided brake uh, or anything and I can do it even in the middle of the race and another nice thing that I can do uh, in the middle of the race in, in especially if I use an advanced mode with uh, target consumption is tweaking the traction control because uh, MotoGP, wow uh, MotoGP bikes have lots of electronics in there and tire consumption, the changing of the grip, because uh, our system of the tarmac simulation uh, simulates also the change of the grip during the race, uh, so that uh, there is more grip, but also tire consumption, so that using the digital, I can tweak the traction control from full to none. So it's very nice doing it also for highest simulation levels during the race. And now I'll do something that I'm very good to do, that is falling. But it's something you can deal with because there is the rewind. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. I can fall, but I can rewind the action. I can turn it off because many hardcore fans uh, may want not to have such uh, an option. But it's something you can tweak it at your will, even in the number of rewinds. And I'm talking about features that are targeted to the hardcore or to the uh, most casual fans. We were aware that MotoGP is a brand that is so well known and so widespread that it's something that would have been in the interests of hardcore simulation and generic MotoGP lovers. So. Um, there is a number of helps, uh, there is a number of options, so things you can tweak in the game so that it makes suit uh, the needs of a uh, casual or a, a very expert uh, rider, virtual rider. Uh, also this applies to the online modes where you, have, uh, you can do something from a quick race down to a complete uh, championship that you can also customize in the length in the number of sessions so that you can do online qualifications. So it's something you can really tailor to your needs and your will. I'm not very good at talking and writing at the very same time. But, wow. And the, the quality of the animations, of the falls, it's been 
uh, taken care about because it's it's about humans riding exceptionally powerful motorbikes and uh, we have done some motion capture uh, in a studio with the stuntman falling over and over in the, all the possible ways to capture all these animations and there are even situations where you almost may, uh, fall from the bike but you can get back on the saddle and we have motion capture did and reproduced inside the game wow and so that uh, it's very nice to see a lively rider on on the bike and the new physics model means that you don't uh, ride the bike and the and the bike has uh, a human being on it being carried on it's about you uh, controlling the rider so all the weight shifts uh, are directed to the rider and it's very evident when you invert the, the leaning so that the first thing that moves is the body of the rider then the bike follows so it's very natural very realistic and very nice looking and the new physics system was aimed to support all the improvements we had in mind but also the new categories of the MotoGP because the last time we developed the MotoGP it was 2008 it was still a two strokes era now we are in the four strokes and everything has changed so all the behavior of the bikes it, it's very different now and we needed to uh, have a new set of features supporting all the handling changes and all the handling changes we wanted to propose to the players you can enjoy a replace uh, reviewing the action you've done in, uh, in the race and the most important game mode is uh, the career mode the career mode now we can take a look is, is something that is the main meat of the of the title because it's lengthy is complex and it's got several very interesting features uh, to analyze